Hi, I'm Megan. I'm a registered dietitian and certified personal trainer with Kettering Health within their community outreach department. I'm here today to talk to you about exercise while pregnant. I was pregnant throughout the majority of 2020, and because I was able to exercise and move regularly, I know I had a much more comfortable experience and exercise always seems to lift my mood. So today I wanna to share with you the benefits of exercise, as well as the current recommendations of how much to exercise while pregnant and what activities are safe to engage in through that journey. So some of the benefits to get you excited is reducing back pain, easing constipation, a decreasing risk of gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, or having a C-section delivery, promotes healthy weight gain during pregnancy and improves the overall fitness of the mother. Also, you would experience strengthening of your heart and blood vessels, improving your movement, promoting weight loss after your baby is born, decreasing chance of developing deep vein thrombosis, and also will help you carry that sweet little one around. You'll have that endurance after your point of delivery. So how much? Great question. 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity exercise is what's recommended. You could break that down into five 30 minute exercise sessions per week or break it down even further doing a 10 minute workout like a walk three times a day, five times per week. So it doesn't matter where you are in your endurance or workout journey, you can start while you're pregnant, but slow is pro. So start slow and build up. Whether you were doing resistance training from the start or that's something that's new to you, uh, once you are comfortable, you are capable of bringing that into your workout regimen. Try to get two to three strength training sessions in per week throughout your pregnancy. As always, please consult your physician before engaging in any of this physical activity. It's very likely you'll be able to continue or maintain your current workout regimen. All workouts should include a warm-up, so waking up your muscles and your body, an activity that you enjoy, so something that you're excited about, it's gonna leave you feeling a good mood once you're finished, and you'll be more likely to engage in that activity again. Ending with a cool down, so letting your blood pressure, your heart rate, your body temperature return to normal, and some stretching to prevent injury, prevent any muscle imbalances, and improve your overall flexibility. Safe forms of exercise while pregnant would be walking, outside, a treadmill, arc trainer, or the elliptical. You could ride a stationary bike. We want activities that are going to promote us staying upright, so trying to take out the risk of falling. A modified dance fitness workout program or modified yoga or Pilates program. Swimming and water workouts are a great choice. And if you're a runner or engage in non-contact sports, that's likely okay, but just uh, make sure your physician is aware of that uh, throughout your pregnancy. Exercises we wanna to try to avoid is anything with a jerky or jarring movement, especially on a repetitive basis. And then our extreme sports of skydiving or um, scuba diving. Activities that have risk of falling, so water or downhill skiing, horseback riding, outdoor cycling, and also be careful of extreme temperatures. So if it's extremely hot outside, uh, try to pick a time of day when you would be less exposed to the sun or just go out for a shorter period of time. Also avoid hot yoga and hot tub situations throughout your pregnancy. That resistance training we talked about, you wanna incorporate that two to three times per week. And the importance of this is maintaining and building lean muscle as well as your bone density. It will increase your metabolism, so it promotes that healthy weight gain during your pregnancy and builds strength for your daily activities, so that endurance for carrying your little baby once he or she arrives. Equipment choices that are smart uh, would be using your own body weight, choosing free weights, or machines. So something that is gonna remove the threat of something falling on you and your sweet little one inside. Please anticipate your body is gonna change throughout this pregnancy journey. It may get harder to breathe. You're going to possibly swell. Your joints become more relaxed. 
So it's very important to be aware of those changes and modify your movement and exercise choices as you go along. Always breathe through your exercises. Watch your alignment and posture. You want shoulders back, nice straight spine, slight bend in the knees for most activities. If something doesn't feel right, just stop. Then you can modify the activity or substitute it with something that feels more comfortable. Other considerations, while working out, be sure to choose something to wear that is supportive of your bump and bust to keep you comfortable. Otherwise, loose clothing in the other areas might be more comfortable. Again, just stressing, avoiding those high temperatures of hot tubs, hot yoga studios, and hot weather. If you do engage in something outdoors, be sure to get additional water. And if you were to experience any of these warning signs, these are hints that you should stop the activity, call your physician. Shortness of breath, feeling dizzy or faint, chest pain or headache, muscle weakness, calf pain or swelling, painful contractions of the uterus, fluid gushing or leaking from the vaginal area, vaginal bleeding, or just something just feels off. In that situation, choose to stop the activity. So that wraps up talking about exercise while pregnant. There are plenty of benefits. I hope that you enjoyed getting some of the recommendations of activities that are safe to engage in. And if you have any further questions, you're welcome to call the number on the screen. Thanks for tuning in with Kettering Health today.